look what showed up at our place. He disappears. See? So look what showed up at our place today. Look at this. Kind of looks like some kind of a beagle mix or something. But he was down by the barn. He was all wet and cold. So Rebecca brought him inside, dried him off, and uh, gave him a little bit of food. So now we're gonna go see if we any of our neighbors are missing a little puppy. He doesn't have a collar or nothing on. Do you? No, you don't. You're licking my phone. Are you guys gonna get along? Hmm? What? Well, we checked with the neighbors. Nobody nearby has lo lost a puppy. <laughs> oh. So, we're planning on going to the animal the shelter. Mm -hmm. See if he gets need, or see if he has a microchip. Yeah, oh. so, yeah. I figure, my opinion is, if he had a microchip, he'd probably have a collar on, but we'll find out if he, <laughs> If he's at least chipped. Maggie is not happy. <laughs> no. <laughs> you just got to get used to her, okay? So Rebecca's actually had a beagle before. Yes, I did, growing up. I had well, a beagle named Copper. Was there was that the same as a cartoon? Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. Was that the fox and the fox and the hound? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So yeah, I think if we contact the shelter, they may be able to at least post that we found this dog. Yeah, on and, their page and see if anybody's missing him. Yeah. So I guess we'll just wait and see if nobody uh, is missing a dog. We may have a new member of the family, I guess. <laughs> wait and see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so one thing that Rebecca noticed is she thought that the dog seemed rather clean and didn't stink. So we think that he's been recently taken care of, so we don't know if somebody just lost him or whether this is like one of those Christmas dogs that nobody wanted and they just dropped off in the country. Yeah. You do get a lot of stray animals out here that people just drop off. It so. seemed like he had been in the creek. He was all muddy and wet and cold underneath. Uh, underneath. But the, but the top of him was all clean and dry and he smelled nice. He didn't, I went ahead and gave him a bath and got him dry and fed him. <laughs> He's a sweet boy. <laughs> Come on, E. Oh, yeah. Come on. And uh, Rebecca set a crate up here for him to sleep in at night. He seems to actually be potty trained. Uh, he has not had any accidents in the house, but he still seems to be a very young dog. But one thing about this dog is he is, he sleeps all the time. And if you look at him right now, he's sleeping. I'm gonna try to wake him up. <laughs> All right, well, I think us laughing woke him up. <laughs> but he is a sleeper for sure. Um, so far, I think Rebecca said he howled this morning, like uh, like a beagle would howl. So I wasn't here, and when I left for work this morning at like, what was it like? six o'clock this morning when I left for work. I said goodbye to him and I supposedly he started howling afterwards. So, um, 
He might be an interesting dog to keep around. We'll have to wait and see. So she, Rebecca has actually, hey buddy. Oh, stretch. So Rebecca's taking him to the, you took him to the shelter and he doesn't have a microchip. And she actually, there was a guy that came to the shelter like every day looking for his beagle. And she got in contact with that guy. The shelter got them in contact with each other and his beagle actually came back. So it wasn't his. Um, and we have not found anyone that is missing this beagle yet. So it's been a day so far. Um, we're putting feelers out there. We got, we got stuff on Facebook. Uh, we've been to the, the uh, humane shelter. Uh, you also stopped by the li local library and kind of talk to the people there, make sure if anybody said they were missing a dog in our local town. And uh, just putting feelers out there. But so far, nobody is missing a dog. And he may end up being a new member of the family. So Rebecca, actually, the funny thing is, is that Rebecca actually went and has been calling the shelter in a different town and she was wanting to go see a dog that she might want to get. And the, she called them and they were closed on New Year's Day. And he showed up New Year's Day. And that's kind of funny because she's looking to get another dog and then it magically appears a dog just shows up on our property New Year's Day. So we're just gonna have to wait and see. <laughs> Rebecca has already named him. His name is Charlie. So this is Charlie the Beagle. And uh, we'll just have to give it some time, but he may still be a new member of the family. And he's definitely comfortable living here. <laughs> That's for sure. Hey, come here. come here, come on. Somebody's coming to get you. Come here. Okay, so the owner just came over and, and picked him up. He was really excited to see him. Um, he said he's five months old, his name is Patches, and he runs around with an older dog, and I guess the older dog, he said he figured the older dog kind of left him somewhere. So he was happy to have him back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they both looked happy. Yes. <laughs> so, well, we knew it had to be somebody that was close by, and that's, uh, yeah. about a mile and a half away. Yeah, so. now we'll know where he belongs if he ever shows back up. Yep. So, Rebecca was looking for dogs, and she was getting ready to go to a shelter and look at dogs, and then he showed up. <laughs> and uh, so now it's back to looking for a dog, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we just came to the Humane Society and we're waiting for somebody to show up. We're going to go look at another dog since uh, since the Beagle has found his new home. Rebecca's back to looking at the dog that she got, that she looked at earlier. So yeah. we'll have to wait and see how this goes, see if we like the dog or not. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Come on. See, that one's being respectful. Oh, okay. okay. I know. Okay. Okay. So we ended up going to the animal shelter and we got a dog. Her name's Bella. She's two years old. She'd only been at the shelter for a day. She, uh, an elderly lady, had her and couldn't couldn't handle her anymore. So, <laughs> yeah, good girl. So now we got her. Yeah. And this is not the dog we went to look at. <laughs> the dog we went to look at was very high strung and. Um, and bigger. He's a bigger yeah, dog. Didn't seem to want to look at you or connect with you or like he was more interested in the other dogs and um, didn't have very good attention span. He was four years old mm -hmm. and he just jumped. Yeah, jumped all. I'm covered in mud because he jumped all over me. So I was a little worried about with kids coming to the farm and um, I was worried about him jumping on. Mm -hmm. little ones yeah but she seems to be much better behaved yeah mom. so she was uh she was the calmest one there she's a little scared she actually was shaking a little bit because um i don't she'd only been there a day she's but not. i don't think she was comfortable with all the other dogs and everything and was scared yeah. because she's in a new place 
So I think, I think in the end we kind of felt like we did kind of rescue her in a little bit because I don't think she definitely was scared and didn't want to be there. But yeah, there was a lot of big uh, aggressive aggressive sounding dogs at the shelter. Yeah, there was there was hardly any. There wasn't really any little dogs at the shelter. No. They were all big full size dogs. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you seem to be a good girl. Yes, you do. You seem yeah. to be a good girl. Yeah, so she's two years old, and this is going to be our new, going to be a new farm dog. <laughs> Bella is her yeah. name. She was already named. So. Yeah, the, the elderly lady that got her had had her since she was a puppy, so this has been her name for the last two years. So, so that's what she answers by. So yes, she definitely, she seems to be a pretty nice dog. And she's already house trained, and she was already, uh, what do you call it? She's already been fixed and everything, so she was pretty much ready to go. Maggie, don't be mad. Maggie's a little upset with us. <laughs> First we bring a beagle to the house, and you didn't like him, and now we brought this bigger dog. Maggie, come here, we still love you. Come on. Come on, Maggie, so. it's okay. Maggie likes to hold a grudge, don't you? But yeah. she's not as hyper as the beagle. Maggie wants to be in charge, so. She well, the only one. <laughs> so she'll have to work out her differences, I guess. That's a fireplace. Yep. Yeah. All right, so got a new dog. <laughs> Still looking probably for a second one. I think she wants a second out beside dog so two dogs can play together. We're going to keep this dog inside for a while so that it bonds to us. Yeah, and then we'll hopefully it'll uh, sleep in the doghouse or yeah, probably come spring or when it warms up, we'll probably eventually let it out and hopefully it won't run off and she'll just stay here and be an outside dog eventually. So, but of course you know, just like Comet, when it gets cold, real bad weather and stuff, in. we'll still bring him in in bad weather. Yeah. So. Bella, she's just checking everything out. She's going to every room to see what's going on. Maggie, you gotta be nice. Well, Bella's been pretty good so far. So we've got her bed made out for her and we're just gonna have to wait and see what she, uh, how she does. But so far she seems like she's a pretty nice dog. Um, we're not sure exactly what kind of dog she is. We think she's some kind of a terrier mix maybe. Um, so she's probably about a 60 pound dog. And uh, she definitely um, wants to be near you. She definitely wants to be near people for sure. She uh, wants to follow you around. So let's have to wait and see how she does. But we got a brand new dog for the homestead. Her name's Bella. And uh, hopefully she'll be a pretty good dog. I think she will, won't ya? I think she will. Anyway, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Now if you just stay on your bed, instead of having to be near us all the time, you're gonna have to stay here on this bed tonight. We're gonna have to put you in a cage. Okay? You gotta stay on this bed. Get used to the bed. We don't need you whining at our bedroom door. <laughs>